Welcome to The Masked Marble, where we discuss all things Gravitrax. Hi kids, wouldn't it be cool if we could build a computer out of Gravitrax? That would be cool. Well, welcome to GraviCalc, where each week we're going to build a fun new digital logic circuit out of Gravitrax. What is digital logic? It's how the electrical circuits work in computer chips. Are computer chips yummy? No, you can't eat computer chips. Computers aren't really that smart. They just repeat simple calculations over and over and over really fast. And those steps add up. So what we're gonna do with GraviCalc is build some really simple computer circuits using Gravitrax. Hey, can I build a computer? Yeah, maybe you can. Today's circuit is a NOT gate. And we'll talk about what that is. Before we begin, Enter this Gravitrax app code into the Gravitrax app and build the track, and then we'll continue. So our NOT gate can be built with a single starter kit. So that's a cool thing. You don't need any expansions. Now a logic gate is a simple circuit. It just converts inputs, what you put into it, to outputs, kind of like a calculator. Now the bottom slot with the blue marble, that's gonna be our input. And the left slot with the silver marble, that's our clock in our clock uh, signal. And you always have to have a marble in the clock signal. And then the landing pad, that's gonna be our output, okay? So input and output. Now the status of an input or an output in digital logic is called a state, not the state of Arizona. It's a different meaning for the word state. Now there are only two states in digital logic, either a zero or a one, and this is what's called binary logic or the binary system. So a state of one, we're gonna represent that with a marble. And a state of zero, we're gonna represent that with no marble. So here's how it's gonna work. There's a marble in the bottom slot of the input, so its state is one. There's no marble in this output in the landing pad, so its state is zero. So let's see if you got it. There's a marble in this output. Is that a zero or a one? What is its state? That's right, it's a one. Because there's a marble in there. It doesn't matter what color the marble is. All right, there's no marble in this input. Is that a zero or a one? And your answer, yes, it's a zero because there's no marble in the input slot, okay? So that's how it's gonna work. Now different, con different gates convert differently. We're gonna do a not gate and it converts by inverting the input state. What does inverting mean? Well, what it means is if you have a one in the input, it's gonna give you a zero in the output. And if you have a zero in the input, it's gonna give you a one in the output. That's what it means to invert. So one last thing you need to know, you have to run a clock cycle for this not gate to actually do its calculation. What this means is with GraviCalc, you gotta run the track before reading the output. The output is meaningless before you do this. It's called indeterminate. So, okay, are you ready to run our not gate track? Please say yes. All right, I knew you were ready, so let's do it. So, okay, we have a one in the input. What's gonna happen at the output? A zero. We got nothing in the output, so one turns to zero. Now we have a zero in the input, and what's gonna happen in the output? Well, with our NOT gate, it inverts it, and we get a one in the output. Isn't that cool? So, hooray, now you know how a NOT gate works. You've done your first digital logic circuit. Good job, guys. So see you next week. We're gonna build other gates like the AND gate, and the OR gate, and the XOR gate, and the NOR gate, and the SNORT. No, wait, there's no SNOR gate. Okay, see you next week. Thanks a lot, guys.